right angled trigonometry. This video is going through how to get the three basic question types in right angled trig when you've been struggling, when you're not managing to get them. This is just going to teach us some steps and strategies, not worrying about how to do the maths or, how, or, or you know, why it works, just slow and steady Here's how we can do it so that we can get the right answer with the right working. So I'm going to start by reminding you about so ka toa. So ka toa, and here it is written a different way, is how to remember the three trig formulas that we might need. And it's a really good idea at the start of a test to write down so ka toa, or if it's given to you on the test, to look at it. And before we even look at the questions, hide the questions, we'll write down the three trig formulas so that they're there in front of us to remember we're going to have to use these. So you remember the first letter, S, C, and T stands for sine, cos, and tan, the three different formulas. So, sine for this first one, S O H. The one thing that isn't given to you in Sokotoa that you're going to need to remember is that you have to put in theta, the angle, after the sine or the cos or the tan. And then the O and the H after the S says sine theta, and we've got to have our equals, and then it's the O over the H. So this is just reminding you how to get these ratios. This is the next formula or ratio. C stands for cos. So if we step through this at the start and write these down, they'll be there in the test when we need them. Write them down before you look at the questions. Cos, don't forget to put theta equals and then A over H. And Toa is tan. Don't forget to put theta equals and then O over A. And every trig problem that you're going to solve in right angle trigonometry will just be using one of these to get the right answer. Now a little bit of a reminder about what they mean. Theta, now I'm going to use color coding for this. I'm going to color code any time we see an angle or theta, it's going to be in pink. And I reckon it's a really good idea to take some highlighters into a test and color code. So theta is the angle. And down in this question here, the angle, angle is always inside the triangle and it's not the right angle. So here, the angle is this bit in here. And I'm going to highlight that in pink. Now, the angle is how we work out which side is which out of the three types of sides. O for opposite, A for adjacent, and H for hypotenuse. And I'm going to put the sides in every question in blue because the sides are here. And so these two sides in this triangle, I'm going to highlight in blue. And if you do that in a question and you do it with your ratios, it'll help you remember which one's a side and which one's an angle. Now to work out which side is which, the hypotenuse is the longest side 
And it's the one that doesn't care about the angle. It's the one that is opposite the right angle. And we label sides outside the triangle. Do that in a better pen. The opposite and the adjacent depend on this angle. So we mark the angle in pink first. Adjacent means next to. So this side here is the adjacent because it's next to the angle, not the right angle. Opposite and adjacent care about the other angle that's marked. And the other side is the opposite because it's opposite theta, the angle. So our three sides, opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Now, I want you to start every trig question by highlighting the angle in one color and highlighting what's labeled on the sides in another color. Now, there's nothing written on this side. So I'm not going to put anything there. The angle's inside the triangle. Sides are labeled outside, and there's nothing there. Pink for angle, blue for sides. Now, our steps for trig. Every question is label the sides. We go to our side, our triangle, and there's the angle that we care about, and there's the right angle. So first we check, do we have the hypotenuse with a blue labeled thing on it? Yeah, we do. This one over here, opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. Then we check for our opposite and adjacent. Here's our angle in pink. Opposite it is this X. And there's nothing on the adjacent, so I'm leaving it off. We label the sides that have anything actually written on them. And by making that blue for the sides, we make that really clear. Now, based on which sides we've got, we're going to choose the ratio. Look up at our ratios, which we've color coded. The blue sides are O and H. Which ratio has O and H? It's sine. So we're going to write the sine ratio exactly like that. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And we're taking this slowly and carefully so we get it right. It's OK to take 10 minutes on one question. Highlight the sides in blue and the angle in pink. Now, next step is we substitute the values that are here over here. Sine, already there. Theta, it's pink. It's 38 degrees. Equals O is X. Don't use the meters. That's just the measurement over H is 12. You've substituted the values. Now, every type of problem will need you to do that. Then you've got to decide how to get the unknown thing on its own. And the unknown here is a side and it's on the top. And we have to rearrange. Sorry about that. And there's a couple of ways to remember how to rearrange. If we're finding a side, if the unknown is on the top, like it is here, top, we times. So x equals take the number up 12 times 
sine 38 degrees. Take your calculator and type that in. 12 times sine 38. 7.387. We'll go to one decimal place. So we write x equals 7.4. It was meters here because we're still going with blue. So we have meters there. So once we've rearranged calculator and answer. Now let's tackle the next type of question with these same strategies. Highlight anything on a side in blue. Highlight the angle that's marked, not the right angle, in pink. Label the sides. Right angle, nothing on the hypotenuse. I'm not going to bother to label it. I'm only interested where there's something blue. Angle, adjacent next to it, opposite it, opposite. Choose the ratio. Blue sides, O and A. Which ratio has O and A? It's tan. We write the ratio, copy it, go back to where you wrote it tan theta equals O over A. Use your highlighter. Blue for the sides, pink for the angle. It's okay to take it slowly. Substitute in the values that we know. So we write underneath tan, pink angle. Yes, we know an angle. It's 30 degrees equals O is 6, A is X. There's the thing that I'm finding. It's X. It's a side. Now, it's on the bottom now. I'm going to use a different word for on the bottom. I'm going to say if X is down, we divide. So X on the top, we times X down, divide. And this is for x. This is when we're finding sides. Now, sometimes they call it y or q or z. I don't know. But it's for finding sides. So x is down the bottom. We're going to divide. We do the same thing we did before. x equals, we take the number that's there and put it right at the start. Then we're going to need this tan 30, but we're going to write divide here. Whereas up there, on the top was x, so we times. x is down the bottom, we divide. And then, calculator and answer. 6 divided by tan 30. Now, if you get a funny answer that's a fraction or a square root or anything like that, remember, two arrow key down here, please give me a normal answer one decimal place, so x equals 10.4 and I was finding sides and look at the sides, that's meters. There we go. Now that was finding sides. The other thing we might have to find is theta, the angle. So if we're finding an angle we'll be finding theta and that's going to be pink. This has a slightly different thing but we still follow the steps. So we're still going to get our highlighters out. Pink angle, blue sides. Now look at that. The angle is the unknown. That tells us something's going to be different. But we still follow the steps. We still label the sides. Go to the right angle. Is there anything on the hypotenuse? Yes, there is. Go to the angle. Nothing on the opposite. Don't label it. On the adjacent, we've got 5. Choose your ratio. 
I've got adjacent and hypotenuse. Which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? It's cos. We're going to write. Go back up here and copy it. Look at it. Don't rely on memory. Cos theta equals A over H. Use our color scheme. Blue for these sides pink for the angle and that says hey we're going to be finding an angle substitute your values cos now theta there's nothing different we're going to just write theta equals adjacent 5 over hypotenuse 12 and we highlight the thing we don't know but now I'm highlighting a pink thing. Before we were finding sides, now we're finding an angle. And when we find an angle, we do something different. We need to write the angle on its own, the sine cos or tan goes over the other side of the equal sign, and we write the little minus one. To remind us that I've got to get the little c above cos, it says minus 1, and I've got to use the shift or second function key to get the option up the top. So I take the cos sine or tan over here, make it minus 1, and the fraction goes here in brackets. And in the same way with the steps, once I've done the rearranging, calculator and answer. But we've got to remember, when we're finding an angle, I'm using that second function key. So it's either going to be sine minus 1, cos minus 1, or tan minus 1. And it's the second function to get those. Come over to the calculator. Second function, cos. Often it'll start a bracket for you. Fraction, 5 over 12, hop out of the fraction, close your bracket, enter 65.37 and we go for the nearest whole number for an angle. Theta equals 65 and it's angles, so it's degrees. Follow the steps, work through it carefully, don't get stressed and you'll be able to solve these three types of problems.